how, how do you how do you have almost 20 years of this and not introduce Kirby Crackle like anywhere just as an homage and where, like, where where are the sleepers where's the search for Galactus where's man God yeah. where's all this yeah. amazing stuff that they did yeah. and they'll say well we've we've run out of stories or now we're moving forward we're moving into the crappy uh comic era that where nobody read any of them yeah Mangog, oh my god, if they had done a Thor Mangog movie, how cool would that be? It would have made two billion dollars. It made a billion billion dollars. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, just in case uh, anybody isn't uh, up on Mangog, he has the power of a billion billion being. So uh, yeah. that Ooh. was the reference. Nerderotic.com uh, <laughs> for uh, Ragnarok. Right. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end of the Marvel. I'll universe. destroy your mythos in a minute, baby. It was funny. Thanks, I was um, I was talking to Free and we were trying to think like when was the first example of going Ugh, with the CG in Marvel? And we were, we thought it was Black Panther. If you remember the fight they have near the oh, end. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was like, no, I think it might be Thor Ragnarok because it was Hela, Hela when she moved around. Everyone was like, she's looking a little rubbery and and weird. And it's like yeah, and go from there forward. Obviously, excluding something like Infinity War, Thanos, and uh, Endgame stuff, but like they have been, good. they've been rushing their CG stuff. And let's just say, whoever's um, at the head of all of that is, you know, it's been a while since they needed to be cut off. I'll say even Endgame, that end battle that everybody loved, yeah, yeah. So muted and like muddy and oh, dark. Yeah. And, ugh. Oh, and clearly they shift they shift budget money around depending on release schedules and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like okay, well, this uh, this doesn't need as much money as, as this one, you know, and and that's more of a concern. Plus, you've got the VFX, you know, it's being coordinated by people who aren't really creators; they're not creative people. Yeah. So they, they don't. I, I hated like Endgame. Oh my god! I oh god, I hate it. That was the end for me. That was the end yeah. game. Yeah, they made so many story mistakes in that, went, and it could have been really great. I mean, first off, they turned the Hulk into Soy Boy Hulk. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what do they do? They show you how much better the other Hulk is when he goes back mm -hmm. in the past, and you see him tearing <laughs> yeah. up things. Right. And then he's like, "Well, I ought to break something." And he picks up a car, and he's like, "You know, half doing it, you know, all that kind of stuff." Toxic masculinity, dude. So then, the Stark's entire building falls on him, and and then the the portals are opening, and all these guys are coming in, and the Avengers are getting their ass kicked. And you know what that movie needed right then and there? Rage Hulk. Rage That's Hulk. That's when they yeah. needed. Uh, Bruce Banner to not be able to contain himself any longer yeah. and just come right up out of there like like uh, like a phoenix and then just beat the living shit out of Thanos. Yeah, and take, right. take and, and turn the tide of the battle, but we didn't get yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's always a case of what would Kirby do, and then you do what he would have done. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Yeah, and, oh, and then by doing well, uh, leading up to it, they they made Soy Hulk first off, and then they made a big Lebowski Thor. Uh, yeah, so yeah. They, yeah. they did all of this to depower the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe, all to boost up this loser character, Captain Marvel. Yes. Yeah. And so when she shows up on screen, she's like the savior. It's like, oh, everybody turns. What's that? What's that? Something coming in on the radar. It could have been a great scene if that was Thor. But it was yeah. it was, uh, it was it was it was her. And yeah. then who gave a shit? You know, it's like, oh, oh, you're the superpower. You're you are the Marvel because you're Captain Marvel, but you're not the Hulk. You're not Thor. They would eat you alive. When you look at it, uh, the the moment you knew everything was fucked is when she's in the room with them all, and then Thor just like walks up to her and he's like, "I like this one." Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know yeah, you want us we, to like it. <laughs> we gotta tell you to like them because they're shit. Yeah. Talk about missed opportunities. If you remember, the oh, film opens wait. with Iron Man. You know, he, he almost dies with Nebula, yeah. and uh, they have Captain Marvel save him when it doesn't even make sense compared to Rocket Raccoon should be able to come up with a way to track the ship, and then you have Thor save Iron Man. Right. Thor's the one that should have gone there with the Bifrost from um, Stormbreaker. Why the hell did you have Captain Marvel do it? Do you remember when she arrives holding the ship as if she pushed it? Through space, like, right. like, Superman. I remember, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah, it was that Superman moment, and she lands holding it, you know, exactly. Like, why didn't you have Thor save Iron Man? Those two what? started up together, like, you don't why need... she have a, a McDonald's meal with her to feed him. <laughs>
that too i just yeah i don't know they really tried yeah. with captain marvel pushing her around and stuff and you know what have they done recently with her <laughs> like, and i said uh, that, i've said this before chat you've heard this before i'm sorry some, of, right. some of you have but with iron man the sacrifice was he had to give up his daughter because the, the sacrifice should have been the we need to blip back to the second you know the nanosecond the blip happened to get immediate bomb bomb and now, unfortunately, that means that you're going to lose the last five years, which means losing losing your daughter. Right. That was the sacrifice play. And then he does it, he dies, and then when we have the funeral at the end, Gwyneth Paltrow's holding her belly because she's pregnant, so she is going to have the girl. So even though he's, he's not there, he, sa he saved it, and the baby is going to be born, and he's... You know, protected the future for his for his daughter. That's what that's what the sacrifice play should have been. Not the selfish. I got to keep my daughter. That's not what a hero does. That's a, a very does... good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. Well, been also, also, uh... comic book heroes figure out a way to have their cake and eat it too. You know, mm, I'm facing right. a dilemma. I'm still going to come out on top, and I'm still going to do the right thing. They it's think they did that. They think they did with the whole like, oh, we brought people back and we saved the people from the, the current timeline. And then they try to desperately ignore the absolute horrors they would have inflicted on Earth with the with the blip. Well, like, people materializing over. in midair because the plane that they're in is now plunged to the ground. <laughs> so they're just falling down and dying yeah. and oh, stuff like that. that. And if that's Mate. not bad enough, then they send Captain America back again. Back yeah. to 1940s, you know, like, like oh, we, we got away without anything changing too much here. This is perfect. Let's send Cap back to the past again. Right, right. He's not going to return. So now Captain America never went into the ice, and he's lived his life since the 1940s all the way up to an old man. How do you reconcile all of that? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I, I would go back to the past. Nation. He ignored Vietnam. He ignored 9-11. He probably could have warned his fellow Avengers. Probably could have warned his dad that he was going to get, uh, uh, Tony's dad, that he was going to get killed by the Winter Soldier. Just yeah. a few, off the top of my head, just a few things he could have done that he just sat back and completely right. wow. off. But again, yeah, but a selfish move. He stayed yeah, in yeah, the yeah, past yeah. because he didn't get his dance. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd crush Haley Atwell for 50 years, you know what I'm saying, but... Um, but yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it is but another. It is that, another man. motivation which doesn't make sense. But it's Cap wouldn't do that. Okay, no, no, no of course he wouldn't. The, no. These are these are people that give up everything for others. Right. These are selfless characters. That's what a hero is. And now Marvel is just full of selfish characters. Yeah, it's the like, writers don't know what any of this means. And this yeah. is like this came in later because, uh, like it or not, like the good part of the mcu in the beginning had comic people involved and at least tv writers who were familiar with comics who respected them right then they were slowly systematically moved out and you brought in like uh, guys who produced like the russo brothers guys who produced comedies right you know comedies rick and morty writer and all they're into is just the parody they're in the parody of it they want the the humor uh and they don't understand that that has to be leveled out with the seriousness like you know but they're exactly. mocking they're mocking their own they're product mocking. they're mocking their own product well, well they, they introduce comedy in place of humor yes i mean humor grows out of the situation right yes that you're in and, and grows out of the character comedy is just jokey joke joke and that's right. what they're doing now yeah and that's what takiti or whatever that guy's name is uh, taiko atizi yeah yeah that's what that guy brought entirely oh. in was it was stand-up it was it was like uh, it was a big stand up routine for him, you know, because look how funny I am. And the humor never derived uh, organically from right. the characters. Yes. You know, I mean, one of the most egregious things is is Asgard has been destroyed and the last surviving Asgardians are looking at their world as they're about to 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 leave it. And, and, and you know, think of it as like immigrants leaving, you know, uh, Ireland or something to go to America for a better life because their country's been destroyed or something, or the Jews, you know. Uh, and they're standing there looking at it, and uh, that one little alien guy says, well, maybe we can repair it or something like that. And then you see the like the last building fall mm. over, and then he goes, yeah, maybe not. You know, uh, like people lost everything. They lost their families. They lost their world, and you're making a freaking joke out of it. Yeah. It was not the right place. It was not an yeah. organic and It doesn't thing. help build your core character. And uh, they, they even did that in Ragnarok when Odin died. They just sat, you know, like when Odin 
passes and he finally kind of says hey i love both you boys yeah. they sit on it for like two seconds and then uh hella comes on, in yeah. and there's and they move on you know and that should be a, a great scene but it's, yeah well, i was just gonna oh, say that's like, the, the same movie they were both in, in Man- yeah right yeah love and thunder though like that that reset the the meaning of just the horrors because like infinity cones i don't think there's ever going to be a more tonally broken joke than infinity cones do you know which one that is or i don't know if you guys saw love and thunder oh, in, in, <laughs> no. oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah the infinity Mara, cones and, yeah mm. Yeah, the, the idea was that in New Asgard, they're setting up some stuff, and they've got an ice cream store <laughs> called Infinity Cones, and it's got the gauntlet, I think, on it. And it's oh, like, yeah, why? You're kidding me? Yeah, no, why no, no. the fuck of all the people in the world of Marvel would they have a celebratory ice cream store based right. after the guy who killed them? Like, yeah, who massacred yeah. half of them? Right. right. Yeah. Why? Why don't you have a Hitler deli? Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Great it, German meat. It, Hitler. Hitler Jewish deli. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just do that? Yeah, the Auschwitz drive-through. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. you Austrian-Hungry alliance will come down to Nazi <laughs> deli. You know. Yeah. The reason they did, you know, it, it's it's funny that they they treated with the the Talikans. I'm sure you missed that in Wakanda Forever, which was supposed to be the Atlanteans, and yeah. the oh, Wakandans yeah. with such respect, and they just shit on the Asgardians for like in both films. The, the, you know, and, and it's because you know it's filled with white people. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, why, you know? yeah, that's because Asgardians don't really exist. But uh, those characters were obviously Latinos, <laughs> so yes. uh, you know, they were not going to. Uh... Well, there's a lot mm. of people in this world who think Wakanda is a real place, guys. Yes, so, yeah, that's, that's for true. sure. It's that real to me, Gary. Um, it's the bestest sure. ever ethno state. Well, you know, Graham pointed out to me early in this game where it was going off the rails. I mean, he foresaw it, uh, where they there's a joke to be made, and it shouldn't be made, but they can't resist making it. Mm-hmm. And I'll have Graham tell you. It, it's it's when Doctor Strange puts on the cape for the first time. Oh, yeah, oh. remember that, Graham? Oh, when when he puts on the, the he puts on the cape, he's looking at himself in the mirror like he's looking badass. Right. Like he's Doctor Strange music. now, and look out! This guy's going to mystically kick everybody's butt. And then the corner of his cape slaps him in the face. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah, I, 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 blo- I blocked that movie out because yeah. the two <laughs> Doctor Strange movies are, uh, and the second Doctor Strange in particular is the single worst Marvel movie I've ever seen. I mean, I was so bored uh, in that uh, America Chavez movie. Yes. Terrible. Wow. You watched that. Wow. I haven't I seen did. it. The reason it succeeded in the beginning is because it was very simple. We're going to tell the origin stories. You know, very simply yeah. tell the origin stories, and uh, that's it. And they, you know, stumbled with a couple of sequels. Some they got right, uh, but then it went to their head. Uh, Kevin Feige started thinking it was about that Marvel brand, and there's only a handful of titles that really move uh, both DC and Marvel, right? Everybody knows this. There's a lot of sub characters that people love, <clears throat> but there's the main core titles that move the entire thing, and without those, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Right? It doesn't work, and they don't even own Spider Man. Uh, yeah. and uh, X Men aren't there. Fantastic Four are gonna look like uh, a, a stock diversity photo. Yep, uh, it, it's it's gonna be a des- they they can't fix this. They yeah. they have to, for one recast. You just keep Captain America around. You recast him every few years, like James Bond. Same with yeah. Spider Man and every, Iron Man and everybody else. You know, and then people can argue about like which uh, freaking Iron Man they like better, just like with Doctor Who or James Bond. Robert right. Downey Jr. immediately. Because the next Iron Man's Ri Ri Williams. <laughs> you know, it's all over. It's done. Off. It's all over. It's dead. It's all over. It's dead. They're, they're better off taking those those B and C level characters <clears throat> that nobody nobody gave a shit about, uh, because they can do anything with them. Case in point is Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody yep. cared about that book. I mean, they had right. to change the Guardians in the comic because nobody read the original ones. Right. Um, so so when they took that into a whole different direction um, and had this great hit, you know, there, there's not the same level of scrutiny on it. Like, Oh, you got Batman wrong. You got Spider-Man because everybody knows those characters. Nobody knows these, these, these characters. So they're better off doing stuff with them. As far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, instead of ruining the classic characters. (laughs) Nerdrotic.com. Please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerd Rotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.